If you've been watching The Bachelor, you're familiar with that coveted first impression rose. But it's so much more than just the first impression on the show. How would you make a great first impression, one that's worthy of getting that first impression rose? Well, let's analyze first what some of the other people have done that have gotten them that rose. So, this season, Sean's season, he gave out the love at first sight rose to Tierra upon seeing her at the very beginning after she gets out of the limo. And what does she do? She shows him the open heart tattoo on her ring finger. Okay, that's very romantic and sweet. And I'll tell you what that means in a second. Then, Emily's season. Doug, who's charming and reads a card that his son wrote. Really, really sweet. Emily did not give it to the heart-pounding Ari, who reminded her immediately of her ex-fiance, but instead the charming Doug. All right, so there are a couple of things that you need to think about when making your first impression that these people obviously did when making theirs. Number one, be slightly vulnerable. Let your guard down a little. Be yourself. Show a side of your authentic self. That's number two. You want to be authentic. You don't want to be fake. You don't want to be plastic. You don't want to have a smile just pressed to your face. You want to be authentic. Number three, smile. Not a fake smile, but a real smile. Be happy. Walk up to them and, and be smiling and sweet. Number four, have good energy. Now, that means that you want to go up to them, you want to sit down, you want to meet them feeling good about yourself because that radiates from the inside out. So even if you're having a bad day, before you go on that date, check yourself. Check that bad energy at the door or before you even get to the door, before you leave your house. You want to check that bad energy because you want to walk in with good energy, right? I mean, the best first impression is with someone who has that bubbly spirit, who's, who's happy. It's not someone who says, hi, or hi, right? Not good at all. You want to have that nice, welcoming, beautiful energy. Okay, then be sweet, right? I mean, that's what both uh, Doug and Tierra did. They were sweet. They had that good energy. They smiled, and they were sweet. And people like sweet people, right? Especially guys. Guys love when you say, you know, what are you looking for in a girl? I'm looking for someone who's sweet, who has good energy, who's nice, who's pretty, but sweet is oftentimes one of them. And then laugh. Don't do that nervous, like, <laughs> giggly laugh, and don't do the over-the-top, way too much laugh, but laugh. If you feel like laughing, laugh. Laugh a real laugh. La laugh a, you know, a hearty laugh. Show a side of yourself. You want to show that real, like, this is me. I have a sense of humor. I think what you said was funny. Because people like to be funny, and they like to be responded to. So if they say something funny, laugh. It also just shows that you're in good spirits, that you're a happy person, because that's who you want to hang out with. You want to hang out with someone who's laughing, who's fun, who makes you feel good. And that's the next point. Make them feel good. They want to walk away thinking, wow. I really felt good being with her. She made me feel just really happy. That's what they're going to come back to. Not someone who makes them stressed or tense or question or... But happy. Especially with the first impression. There are other things to think about when it goes... When you're continuing the relationship. But at the very beginning, they want to feel happy. Be confident. Not cocky. Confident. Show them that you know who you are and you're a pretty good catch and they're lucky to be with you, and you know what? You're lucky to be with them too. It just, it, you can exude that confidence, and a guy wants to feel like he is dating the head of the cheerleading squad, right? He wants to feel like he's scored. Well, if you come in saying, hi, you think that that makes him feel like he's scored? If you clearly don't feel good enough about yourself, why would he feel good about you? Why would he be proud of you? Why would he be proud to introduce you to his friends? Be confident. Show that you can handle yourself. You can handle any situation, but you can still have fun while you're doing it. It's almost like one of those just one of the guys attitudes, actually. Then, show that you're interested. So many of these ridiculous 
ridiculous games of the dating rules are about pretending that you're not interested, feigning disinterest when you're really interested, that he punched me, that means he likes me. No, no. We're over the games, people, okay? We're older now. We're not playing these playground games anymore. If you're interested, show you're interested. Smile, flirt, touch them. Text them after saying you had such a great time. I mean, think about it. Did Doug seem disinterested in Emily? No, he didn't. He was obviously very interested in her. Did Tiara sound, seem disinterested in Sean? No. She shows a ring or a tattoo on her ring finger saying that she wants to fill this heart when she meets her Mr. Right. She clearly was interested, but not too much so. Not like over the top bowing at your feet, which, think about these. Ashley's season. Although Jeff, who had the mask and was like super mysterious and mystery is great, it was a little bit too much. But, so he didn't get the first, in in uh, the first impression rose, but he did stick around because she thought, hmm, who is this mysterious Jeff? I kind of want to know what's on the other side of the mask. Then Emily's season, Kalen, the helicopter guy, well, that was interesting, but a little too over the top. So again, you don't want to be too over the top, but you want to show a side of you. And we know, well, people say that Emily wanted a guy who had money. And clearly, Kalen, showing up in a helicopter, has money. So he's showing her that he can provide one of the things that he has. But he wasn't that sweet, authentic, smiling, good-natured, make-you-feel-good-to-be-around guy. So that's why he didn't get the first impression rose. Sean's season, just now, Lindsay, who shows up in the wedding dress, clearly she's showing interest, but a little bit too over the top. Still, she was able to be fun about it and joke, and so she didn't take it like insanely crazy, crazy seriously. She you know, showed some of her personality and showed interest a little bit too much, but he kept her around because she was able to have fun with it. Then, too, too much. Emily's season, Randy, who showed up impersonating a grandma, that's just like, huh? <laughs> like, sorry, what is that show? It doesn't show your enthusiasm. It doesn't show that you can provide something I'm looking for. It doesn't show that, that you're crazy interested in me. It's just, what? So he was kicked off. First, you know, the, the, the ro very first rose ceremony, he was kicked off. So... Those are the things that you need to remember when you want to make a great first impression. Now, what about how to get his attention in the long term? How to stand out from the rest without seeming obnoxious or like an attention hog? What about the little things that you can do to make him remember you even when he's out with someone else? And finally, how to be the last one standing and get that final rose and, and be the one for him? Well. That's all coming up, so you'll have to make sure to watch and subscribe so that you don't miss any of these future tips.